Alright everybody, have you all recovered yet from that amazing direct that we got last Friday? It has taken me the entire weekend to basically wrap my head around everything that we got and all of the game-changing updates that we're getting for Animal Crossing New Horizons, so I just want to sit down, talk about the features a little bit, and definitely just talk about the things that left the biggest impression on me. The first thing is that my biggest dream came true, and that's the Happy Home Paradise update. It is a paid update, yes, but I really wanted a lot of Happy Home Designer features to come into the game for a very long time, and they not only brought like all of my favorite features back, but they also added some really new ones that I think are going to change the entire interior decorating gameplay on its head. It's just, it's completely different now, and all of the rooms that we had before can be completely reimagined with this. So from the direct, I gathered that we're going to be able to change room dimensions, curtains, lighting, soundscapes, and then also add partition walls, counters, columns, and do some polishing. They didn't really show off the curtains, but I did notice that there was an option in their little menus, and I did notice that there were some different curtains in the game that we didn't quite have before. Some new windows, some new things. I'm just like really blown away by all the things they added. The partition walls especially, like that is going to reshape a room so so much and I have so much fun with the interior decorating already but just knowing that stuff is added and then ceiling items as well all of that is going to bring so much depth to the interior decorating that we just haven't had in this game at all and on top of that we can bring a lot of these techniques back to our own islands they did put a little fine print text that we won't be able to change the room dimensions but with the partition walls I don't know how big a deal that is like we can already segment rooms to do different things that we only could have imagined before gone are the days of those rock climbing walls being a separator for you or all those panel walls you can now just use an official partition with a matching wallpaper oh it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing i'm blown away and then the promise that we're gonna be able to redecorate our own villagers homes all of those people who got villagers that were one of their first five they can finally stop living in shambles or those pre-made concoctions that we had all this time you can redesign their homes completely make them look better i am so ready for that. I think this is something that's going to change the gameplay a lot on our islands, and honestly that alone seems worth the update. And even outside of my dream coming true for this coming back, they did so much more than this. Like all of the free stuff is huge for the game. Harv's Island is a big change and I cannot wait to play with that feature. It's basically going to be our new main street and a lot of characters that we recognize are going to be there but they're bringing a ton back. Harriet is back, Tortimer is back, Katrina, and then Reese and Cyrus. Reese and Cyrus honestly change the game. They're going to be opening up customization for all the items that we couldn't customize before. This is huge, especially considering like there's probably a big amount of the player base that doesn't have online, doesn't pay for it, doesn't have the ability to trade for a lot of these items that they want in different colors. But now it's like, you don't have to. You can just go to Harv's Island, pay them to customize your item, and then you're good to go. The other thing I really love about this is that it's an area that we build up. It's not just there right when the update lands. It, I mean, it's kind of there, but they're not. There's all these gyroids that you have to pay funds to in order to actually invite the characters to be there. So being able to use our bells on something else, because right now I feel like the bell economy is kind of pointless, and now there's a reason to have lots of bells and use them in order to build up this location. And I feel like that's going to just recapture the excitement of the beginning of the game, for example. In the beginning, we all really enjoyed building up the museum, earning Nook's Cranny, unlocking Abel's sisters, but then once that was gone, 
we kind of missed feeling that progression and I think this is going to bring back that feeling of progression a little bit. It's it's really nice. I'm so happy that it's happening. And we have new Nook Mile redemptions. I have I've loved the Nook Mile system. I've loved the way that it's been a cool tool in order to educate players on the different activities they can do. But long term Nook Miles become pretty worthless. There's not as much to redeem anymore. You really just use them for Nook Mile tickets. And I think, while that's fine, I think villager hunting's great. I would still like to see other rewards and they're totally revamping it with new items and new abilities. And the new items, we've seen a few of them, they look so good. I am ready to go and buy them and then take them over to Reese and Cyrus and customize them and see all their customizations. It's huge, but the new abilities as well, like this is how we're gonna unlock customizing fences and cooking. Oh my goodness, cooking. You are, you gotta be kidding me. We got pumpkins all that time ago and now we're getting all of these other crops. I really hope that there's also seasonal crops. I want to see things that you can only grow in the winter or only grow in autumn and summer and spring. All of those things need to happen, but for now, you know, ju just the crops that we got alone are so good. But these are things that we have been wanting, and I'm really glad that it's going to be something that we can redeem with Nook Miles. I have too many of them. I have over 600,000 Nook Miles at the moment. I've been in a desperate need to redeem new items with them. Gyroids. I know a lot of people don't know what they are if they're new to this game, but let me tell you, you're all about to be spoiled. These gyroids look better than ever and they're customizable. I didn't expect that. They look incredible, they sound incredible, and best of all, they're interactive in a way that they've never been before. The fact that we can find fragments, bury them, and then water them, and they, <laughs> they've come to life? That is something I did not expect. I really like that there's a little bit of gameplay involved around them, and I'm ready to make my life a little bit more musical with gyroids. Ladders and vines have me rethinking every single thing on my island. Just the fact that we can completely redesign spaces and make them more accessible because there's a ladder or a vine that lets you climb up this cliff or down this cliff, that's a game changer. The incline limit got increased and we can now have 10, doesn't even matter. This is going to change everything. Now we can have inclines that are strictly for aesthetic purposes and that is beautiful. I have wanted so many inclines for aesthetic purposes but they've all been utility driven until now. Now that I have ladders and vines to use, it's a whole different world at this point. Hanging out with your residents is a feature that's coming back and this one is going to be pretty nice. We're going to be able to go and visit our villagers like on a little play date or something they can drop in on you at your place and basically what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have just a new interaction and some fresh dialogue there is some really funny dialogue in New Leaf when a villager comes and visits you and I'm really excited to see what they came up with with this feature it is so good to see villagers have a little bit more life brought back to them and I think this one's gonna be a huge one for everybody who's been missing a lot of the life sim aspects to Animal Crossing so the thing that makes me happiest about this update though is that it just feels like it is bringing people back to this game. I think this is exactly the type of thing New Horizons needed to just spark others to come back and play and enjoy it. Like I spend about an hour a week just podcasting about Animal Crossing and I'm glad that other people are feeling like they can enjoy the game like I have been able to enjoy the game all this time. So that's just one thing I really appreciate. I like when people enjoy Animal Crossing and that's that's all I could really ask for. I mean, I didn't make the game, I'm just really passionate about it, and that's what I like to see. So yeah, there was a lot in this direct, and I finally feel like I've recovered from all of it, so I want to ask you all, do you feel like this update is bringing you back to the game? What was your favorite thing from the direct? Let me know in the comments, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!